We took a global campaign idea and added a UK spin. Our challenge was to tackle public scepticism about Febreze's effectiveness. So, we asked the British public to suggest some of life's toughest odours, and then we put their noses to the test. The whole experiment is for us to make that box smell as bad as possible. One man, one box, nine odour-inducing challenges. That one stinked! And no escape for 72 hours. Once our man was in his box, celebrity compare Stephen Mulhern kicked off the campaign coverage. It is Magic 105.4, I'm Jamie Edwards, and i got Stephen Mulhern here. I'm here. You know what? We've just uh, done the first ever live odour experiment. During the experiment, we used social media, not only to get people interested, but to get them involved. After the 72 hours were up, what was the public's verdict? Oh, God! Oh, it smells like when my pet snake died. Absolutely rank. It is disgusting, folks. So, can Febreze undo the damage? Just describe to me what you're smelling at the moment. Scented flowers. It's very pleasant. Quite chic. It smells quite fruity. I stand on something. Iceland, the place. <laughs> yeah. Okay. By the end of the Febreze Breathe Happy Man in a Box campaign, Febreze was market leader in the UK with a 19% value share uplift, a figure certainly not to be sniffed at. That's really good. <laughs> it's lovely and fresh. Totally different to what it smells like. 